Hey there, Kalena from Voice Savvy, coming right back at you with another video. Now, one of the many things I hear from singers when I first start to work with them is that I need to increase my confidence. So today, we're gonna to be talking about increasing your confidence as a singer. So let's just jump straight in and talk about it. Now, as singers, not even just as singers, but as human beings, we can from time to time really suffer from a lack of self-doubt, insecurities, and a lack of confidence to varying degrees. But the good thing is, is that we can change our confidence. We can really increase our confidence levels. Now, having confidence is not only good for us as singers, but it is good for our everyday life. It really makes a difference to how we show up in the world and how we interact with others. So really develop Developing confidence is super important. Make sure that you stay tuned because towards the end of the video, I'm going to be giving you some practical tools to really help you increase your confidence level. Now, when it comes to singing, in order to perform effectively, confidence is a must. Confidence really just allows us to perform with freedom. When we're underconfident when we perform, our breath control usually goes out the window. We really lose all support of our voice. Our voice is left feeling shaky and just like we have no control over it. And this has never happened to me. I am not at all traumatized by this happening to me because it's just never happened to me. This has never happened to me. So how can we increase our confidence levels? Now that is the question. Now obviously we all know that practicing is a really great way to increase confidence. Practice increases your competence, which in turn increases your confidence, you know? But practicing alone is not necessarily gonna be enough to fully increase your confidence levels because increasing your confidence levels really goes deeper than that. It is internal. We wanna work on the internal so that it overflows into the external. But really confidence has to do with our beliefs about ourselves. We have to become aware of this and we have to really master our self-talk and that is how we're gonna build confidence. But let me just briefly explain this. We have a running conversation with ourselves all the time. It's our internal dialogue, that voice inside our head that can be really difficult to switch off, but that is the voice that we tend to believe above all others. Now our subconscious mind takes those messages from the voice inside our head, those thoughts, and it takes the consistent and repeated ones as reality. Whether those thoughts are positive or negative, whether we mean them, whether we don't, it takes those as reality. For example, if we consistently and repeatedly tell ourselves that we are not good enough, then our subconscious mind is really gonna take that as reality. Then we will start to feel like we're not good enough. We'll start to believe that we are good, not good enough because we'll start to confirm the perception of ourselves, you know? So that's why you hear the saying that you are what you say you are. We are what we say we are because our subconscious mind takes what we say to ourselves as reality. So just being aware of this is really going to help increase your confidence levels. And from a practical level, you can really be replacing those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. For example, you can replace the negative thought, the negative self-talk of I am not good enough with a positive thought. And that positive thought can go a little something like this, just to give you an example. I'm so happy and grateful. I am enough. I am a winner and I have pure perfection inside of me. And you can be saying that over and over and over and over and over again on a daily basis just to really build it in because if you keep saying it and you keep replacing placing those negative thoughts with these positive ones, then your subconscious mind is gonna take it as reality and that is what you are going to become. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of other positive things that you can be saying to yourself and really just speaking over yourself and your life, you know? But really put this into practice. And I promise you, if you do it consistently, it's really gonna make a difference. And another thing that you can do is try writing it down. Even just writing it down is so important. It really attaches feeling to it, so then when you say it, you really have the feeling of it as well, you know? Which really just solidifies it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be talking about this so much more because I really believe in this and this has really helped me in my own life. It works, it really works, you know? But yeah, um, that's pretty much it from me. Until next time, I will see you soon. Peace out. You can rap. I can rap. Practice increases our competence, which in turn increases our confidence. Yeah. 
I think I've got what it takes to be the next Cardi B. Oh, 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 oh